What's going on Star Wars fans? You're watching The Collector's Hub. My name is Chris and we're going to be checking out one of the newest four packs, Mission on Vanda 1 from Solo, A Star Wars Story. Now you get three brand new figures in one repack, but the repack is a range trooper, which is great for army building. So this is a solid pack. So with all of that being said, let's get right to this review. We'll start off with the box. So you have a lot of nice images on this box of all the characters on the right hand side. Great images. As you can see, this is Force Link compatible, which I do have, so we will be checking that out. On the right hand side, the Millennium Falcon. On the left hand side, more images of the characters. Now, on the back, you have some nice descriptions. But we are very familiar with these characters by now. Some more images of the action figures. As you can see, the Han Solo figure comes with the Force Link if you guys want to pick that up. And like always, you have the Disney and Hasbro logo on the bottom right. So the overall box is pretty sweet. Let's get right to the figures. So we'll start off with Han Solo. So boom, there he is. And he looks great. Now the overall mold to this figure is pretty damn impressive because this looks like real fur. The jacket's made out of a soft vinyl material. The holster and these other things that are molded right onto it. Really nice detail going on. Nice weathering on the boots. Comes with his blaster. Now these goggles, you can't remove them but they're also not attached to his face. So if you guys wanted to customize this, maybe, you know, make a slit here and a slit here and remove them, you definitely could do that without ruining the figure if you choose to have the goggles off. So it's really nice that they didn't mold it right to the face. As you can see, the lens is translucent. You can see his eyes. So pretty cool. We'll get into the articulation. So the head goes left and right. Little up and down, little side to side. Arms go up and down. The hands do swivel, which is pretty cool. Legs go up and down, no restrictions there. And the boots do swivel as well. So pretty nice stuff going on here with this figure. Like I said, the detail is very nice. Blaster fits nicely in the holster. You don't have to worry about that falling out or anything like that. And I like that the you know, his finger goes on the trigger, which is pretty sweet. So let's hear what he has to say. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Admit it. You're impressed. I'm feeling pretty lucky. <laughs> We've got a problem here. Heads up. Coming through. Admit it. You're impressed. Heads up. Coming through. So some pretty nice lines. Blaster effects. Good stuff. So we'll do a, one last close up and we'll keep on cruising. Yeah, great texture here on the jacket. All right, there he is. So we'll keep on cruising to Kira. So I am very impressed with the way her face came out. The paint application is extremely clean. Truly a beautiful figure right here. Comes with the blaster, fits nicely in the holster.
real solid figure. And like I said, the face just came out awesome. So we will jump into the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, so left, right, up and down, side to side, all that good stuff. Arms go up and down, same with the legs, up and down. The hands don't swivel or anything like that, so this is a 5 POA. As you can see, a little force link symbol on the bottom of the foot. stay in the game as long as you can. Everybody serves somebody. Trust me, I actually have a plan. Let's agree to disagree. I could use some backup here. Let's agree to disagree. A lot of cool lines. Again with the blaster effects. Yeah, just really happy with this pack. Side profile looks awesome. All right. Next up, we have Weasel. Now, believe it or not, I was most excited for this figure in this pack because the overall design is amazing. Now, this character was played by Warwick Davis, which, you know, he's a fan favorite. He's a great guy. I met him a couple of times. And uh, this guy looks great. Comes with this rocket launcher and this pistol. You have some more rockets hanging off the side. I mean, this guy is ready for some serious action. But yeah, right when I saw the image of this four pack, this was the figure I like gravitated towards. Just looks great. And I love Emphis Nest and the whole crew. Awesome characters. So we'll jump into the articulation with this little guy. So head goes left and right, up and down, little side to side. Little rangefinder right here, it doesn't swivel or anything, but as you can see, it's made out of like a soft plastic material. Arms go up and down, legs go up and down, and that's about it with this guy, too. So you get another 5 POA, but crazy good detail going on, just like a lot of gear here. Love the helmet. And the bones and all that stuff. Like I said, Emphis Nest, her crew. Man, it was amazing. I absolutely loved Solo. Movie was killer. stuff there and I love that the rocket launcher sits on his shoulder just a really awesome design and look how cool that looks Weasel is in the house, and he's ready to throw down. Do one last close-up. Like I said, the helmet is sick. Awesome design. Okay. 
And last, we have the Range Trooper, which you can never have too many of these guys. So when I saw that that was in the pack, I mean, I was all for it because it's Army building. So now I have two of these guys, which is great. And the helmet is just fantastic. So left, right, little side to side, front and back. Definitely on a ball joint here, but a little restriction because of the fur on the shoulders. And that's made out of a soft vinyl material. Moves with the arms. Arms go up and down. Legs go up and down. That's about it. This is also a 5 POA. Comes with this nice blaster, as you can see. Just the overall design is really cool. The magnetic boots. Nice weathering going on. Nice paint job there. Really cool looking trooper. Bottom half of the jacket. Soft vinyl material. Bendable. Vandor Escort standing by. There they are. Take them out. Hit them with everything you've got. Keep an eye out. We're picking up intruders. There they are. Some good stuff right there. Like I said, the Force Link, it's pretty damn cool. Um, I would much rather the figures talk than come with some kind of weird, you know, weapon that we'll never see. So definitely a fan of that. But yeah, this is a killer four-pack, guys. This is definitely the one to pick up. Very happy with it. All the figures came out great. So that's going to do it. Alright guys. Well thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know what you think about these figures. I think they came out great like I said a million times over. The Emphis Nest crew is my favorite. Weasel is really cool. Um, so there you go right there. Love this pack. If you want to see more of me go to thecollectorshut.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook right here on YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, and share. I love hearing from you guys. The support is amazing. And keep tuning in because I have so much more to share with you. And like always, may the force be with you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a bunch, guys. See you later.